I am not sure if this is going to be the spot where the camera goes because it's right on the dash so it's really visible and <clears throat> the whole appeal to me with filming is I like it to be really discreet <clears throat> so we'll see as you can tell I'm still like a little just fuzzy sounding but this is my first time in the car since I bought it I got the car and the next day I was sick and I was like not okay sick. We'll talk about it later. I'm actually in a hurry because I need to go get coffee before this dude comes that is going to be removing tree stumps from our backyard because we're finally just hiring somebody. We're sick of it. It's so annoying. Let me drive. I've got a dog in the back seat as well and she's not mine. So I'm on my way to get a coffee. I miss waking up and having coffee. I need to just go get groceries. So today's just gonna be errands in the car. I just wanna drive around in it. Uh, the first day I'm feeling okay. Took me out, man. <laughs> Took me out. I actually thought at first I was gonna go to the hospital just because it was um, raising my blood pressure to a point that I felt was unhealthy and it scared me. Still just a little like weak I'd feel. I'd just say like that's the main thing I'm noticing is I'm just feeling a little weak still. Like I've been wanting to get on the treadmill because I just have been laying and sleeping nonstop. But I've just been, I've just been wanting to get back on the treadmill and go for my dog walks and move my body and get some exercise. Hey. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I love your dress, it's so cute. Oh, thank you. 1150. It's like the final days of wearing it. I mean, I guess I could put a jean jacket on. Yeah, you totally could. You want a biscuit? Okay. Come get it. This is yours. Great. I've already actually been working. I did a Honey Love campaign the second half that was due. And then I did some work with a nonprofit that I work with part time. I've got this dog here, so obviously that's work. So I've got like five jobs, as we know. I like chaos. And I'll tell you guys what the thrift theme of the week is gonna be. It's exciting, it's something new and something I've never done before. So I'm really excited to, sorry if this is all blown out. I hear it, I hear it, I see, I see. Okay, mission accomplished. Hi, I'm interrupting this video to bring you just a little bit of information about a pair of pants that I received from Honey Love. Thank you so much to Honey Love for sponsoring this portion of the video. I received the Just Like Leather vegan leggings. They are next level. I've owned a pair of leather leggings before and well, they're like, you know, they look like yoga pants, but they're supposed to look like leggings. But as soon as you bend over, they go completely transparent and you can see everything. So that doesn't work. And then I got a pair of thicker, more pant-like leather pants, but they had zero give. And so anytime I'd bend over, I made this horrendous sound. And they were so loud when I would go from point A to point B that people can hear me coming. They just, when the thighs rubbed together, they made the most god awful sound. It was way worse than corduroy. So it got to the point where I was so embarrassed by it that I would rub a little translucent powder into the thigh area. I don't have to do that anymore. Thank goodness. I was sent the Just Like Leather leggings by Honey Love. I love that they stay up. That is a huge bonus for me because that to me is like an impossible feat. The way that they are sort of retrofitted seamed up here on the top, it just grabs on and it stays. They're just that right amount of thickness where they're not too thick so that they're uncomfortable, but they're not too thin so that when you bend over, they're see-through. They're not like that at all. So that's great. I can put these on and I can wear a t-shirt or something where it's shorter and it makes my butt look really good, but it, you can't see anything. I also love that the ankle on them has this zipper feature so that if you wanted to do more of a flare like you can, and then if you wanted to put them on with boots, you can just zip it back down and tuck it into the boot. So if you're looking for the best faux leather leggings on the market, I highly recommend the Just Like Leather Leggings by Honey Love. They're amazing. I have codes below for 10% off, so go check that out. Click the link if you wanna go shop for yourself, get 10% off of these amazing leggings, and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. I'm gonna wear these all winter, so just be prepared to see these a lot, because they're going with uh, pretty much every sweater I have. <laughs> all right, back to the video. I hope you enjoy. So this is Billy, by the way. She's. <laughs> I call her potato dog. She don't cook it a little potato. That's a Billy de Brussels Griffey. She's a Brussels Griffey. 
I've been calling her Griffin Schnauz. <laughs> She's a Griffin and a Schnauzer mix, so I say Griffin Schnauz. Yes, her and Tina get along very well, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> they love her chatters. They love her chatters. They're best of four ones. It's because there's two girls, and girl energy, it's like your best friends. Oh, sweet nectar. I haven't had like a properly made coffee in a long time. Mmm. It's weird because I actually go in and out of sounding okay and not okay. It's just weird to me because I'm I feel fine, but my voice doesn't sound good. It's just basically getting back from all of this insanity that happened in my chest. It was a lot of chest congestion and just like the weight, that weight feeling. That's why I knew it was the dreaded Coviticus 19 because it did that like weight on your chest that was so like an like an elephant i told my husband that i felt like i had somebody standing on my shoulders poisoning me felt like this like presence almost of death like just standing on top of you holding you down hurting your back weighing your head down weighing your body down and they're just sitting there like breathing this darkness onto you. I don't know how to explain it. Well, that's the sound of uh, one of the trees getting cut down right next to our house. It's actually a little bit scary because we just have so many windows. I'm sure he'll be very careful, but like, holy crap, he's got like a lot of equipment. He rolled up with this huge truck and then this huge trailer and the machine that he has is like this big, grinder it's wild anyway ladies if you're curious if there are any cute heavily tattooed burly muscular single men i don't know if he's single but he's not married because i looked to see if he had his ring on i've got a stump guy for you because <laughs> our stump dude is like a younger like tattooed what i just described kind of guy um, so, uh, yeah, we talked tattoos for like a minute and I was thinking, do I know any single women right now? <laughs> Cause this, this guy, and if you like a working man, it's I myself love that my husband is an electrician. I love to see him like electricianing, like when he's bending pipe, you know what I mean? But look at his like machine. Can you see that? It's like this huge machine oh 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 oh, oh God. <laughs> run i think i'm still gonna be able to put you guys on the dashboard which is like my favorite spot for when i'm doing little updates just because it's like a nice view of everything it couple covers my uh double chin <laughs> it's the best i actually just wanted to like drive without recording enjoy my car listen to music i listen to wildfire by little dragon it's so good as you can see behind me i am at whole foods uh this is where i return things to amazon i'm still like kind of insecure about the size of the car even though it's not big it's still significantly bigger than my little volkswagen beetle the true test is going to be when i get out of the car how in the middle of the lines am i because in my head i'm like I, th I thought I pulled in pretty perfectly. So it's really gonna be um, eye-opening to see if I'm in the right place. <laughs> There's also there, which actually is rested on something and no one else can see it, which I love. Hmm, can be potentially a spot. How is it that I spent over $100 at Target just now? That's so annoying. I can't, I, w I went to Target for coffee and like a brow pencil. Look at all of these gourds. Little butts, little butts. But how freaking sweet of her to bring this. It's just so many. Amazing, amazing. I can't believe that she got that many. We've got corn and then we've got little plums. And I got some things, I got some things. You guys look at the, all the Halloween stuff is out at Target and I could not resist. So it looks like a potion bottle because they have batteries and they turn into little lights, which are cute. They're really cute. I'm gonna put these definitely on the mantle where underneath where the TV is. And then <clears throat> hissing hexes. It just says hello fall and it's got 
really adorable little print on it. These almost olive branch looking leaves. For tomorrow, we are going thrifting tomorrow and I'm just gonna wait till I'm all dolled up, getting ready to go to the thrift store. I've had my morning coffee. We're gonna have a blast, so. Here is the outfit I opted for. This black skirt was the best find. Getting this at the, what was it, the Goodwill in Everett. Complete staple in my wardrobe. I'll be wearing this all year round. Such a score. Tossed a little harness on with it. Love it when I'm wearing like things I've got on my travels. The shoes I also got in Sacramento, the cowboy boots, the black ones at the Goodwill. And then the blazer is H&M. It's really lightweight, so it's so good for this time of year. And then in the winter I can layer it, so it's, just perfect, I love it. The whole point of today and this vlog this week is that I was so incredibly inspired by Iris Apfel, who has just turned 102. I follow her on Instagram. She is, was born in the 1920s. So if you know Iris, she is the queen of costume jewelry. She has always worn layers of costume jewelry and look like she's getting weighed down by it. She'll wear like 10 bangles at a time, four necklaces, a huge necklaces too, not just dainty little things, huge. She really gets creative about how she accessorizes. So all of her stuff was on display at the Met. I really wish I could have caught that. It made headlines, everybody was loving it, eating it up. So she's just really renowned in the fashion industry in general for her use of textiles, for her, her vintage, just so much vintage but she wears a mix of designer and then you'll also catch her at a flea market. So she's not too good for a nice piece of fabric, no matter where it came from. I was watching the documentary when I was sick, the Iris Apfel documentary. Well, I saw a very familiar name and that name is Alexis Batar. I own something by Alexis Batar. It's a jewelry designer. You see it all over the real real. And when I first started shopping on the real real and was getting credits from working with them, I, kind of went through a little thing where I wanted to collect some jewelry. So I was looking at cuffs and bracelets and I found this Alexis Bittar bracelet. It's like a blue triangle or like a turquoise triangle arrow thing. It's really cool. And I got it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is like my first piece of designer jewelry. I've never owned anything that was like designer. I was just so excited about it, even though I'd never heard of the brand before. Now that I know who they are and I saw the name come across the screen, I was like, that's Alexis? So his parents, when he was younger, bought him a lot of old vintage costume jewelry, $300 worth, which probably at that time was a lot more money, obviously. It just snowballed into this whole obsession that he had with costume jewelry and becoming a collector and then eventually becoming a designer. I feel like this is going to be a new me. I will now stop at the jewelry counter and I'm gonna take a good look and I've never done that. So this is a whole new me. And then also obviously shopping on the real real. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm gonna change out my battery. It looks like it's about to die. I've got things to return. I've got places to go in my new car and I'm so excited. And um, I'm gonna catch my breath because honestly, I feel like I am so short of breath today. <sighs> freaking annoying. <laughs> okay, so we are at the Value Village and I have those jeans that I've been meaning to return for weeks now. Hopefully it's not too late. I haven't even looked at the receipt. And then I have a few things on my list and this is from Pinteresting and getting inspiration and also just seeing some things on Instagram. So I'm looking for anything in like a really cool lime green color. So mainly probably a shirt or sweater. I'm looking for huge chunky sweaters with like large cable knits, like oversized cable knits. So the bigger the knit on the sweater, the better. I would love a big bulky one. I'm feeling like free people would probably have something like this. I'm looking for a leather dress. I just did a blog post about my leather pants and how I think they would look really cute if I wore leather on leather faux leather. Ideally a baby doll style vegan, which is very specific leather dress that would just look really cute with those faux leather leggings. So I'm looking for that. And then I'm looking for more lace things. I feel like lace is going to have a moment and I'm going to look for those items, but obviously costume jewelry is 
very up there on this list. So let's go take a look and see what I can find at the old VV. section of town I actually want to go back to the place where I the area where I found the nightgown because that whole strip has like three or four thrift stores along it and I would like to just go look and see uh, what they might have at those stores so those are more like boutique style thrift stores I just like to take a peek This place is so cute. It's called Nest Egg. And it just looks adorable. But it's never open. Ever. This Range Rover over here, see those are cute with the drop the little tops down. Oh. Alright, this is one of the first things. Look at this dress. How cute is this dress? Oh my gosh. It was five freaking dollars. This is so me, if there was a dress, I say that all the time, but if there was a dress, that was me. This is so it. Roses, you know my love for roses. Black turtleneck, baby doll almost style, high waist cut. The only thing is it doesn't have pockets. If it had pockets, it would literally be perfect and I'd give it a straight up 10 stars. I love it with the harness. Oh, that is just, that is so fucking cute. Oh, I love this. You know what? I'm doing makeup on Saturday. I'm driving up to Seattle to do bridal makeup. This might be what I wear because it's black and all I really, you know, I'd hate to get makeup on it. I think that this dress is perfect for showing off the necklaces because these types of statement necklaces just look so good against a turtleneck. And I even like the look of the green against this. So that's a contender for sure for tomorrow's photo. Look at this. Look, look. Duck. <laughs> it's like teardrops in green, but how beautiful. So I love the idea of like a button up. I'm gonna definitely look for more like statement vintage scalloped necked button ups, just different varieties of necklines to go with this so that it really just shows them off like a display. But this was one of the ones that when I put it on, the women were like, oh my God, that's like meant for you. I was just like, thank you. Totally meant to be. It's stunning. All right, and so here's the next one. I got just, spoiler, I got three costume jewelry style necklaces that are just huge and gaudy and beautiful. It's flowers, it's roses. Of course, of course I'm gonna want this. Look at the double chain. Thank you Iris Atfell and Alexis Batar for awakening this new love inside of me. I am so excited. Okay, and this is the final necklace. This one I got at the Goodwill, the blue store. So this is the only necklace that I got there. I got the other two at the Value Village. I'm so glad I know now to look in the Value Village display case because these are just so cool. I love the neutral tone of it because I could wear this with so many things. I love the shape of it, how it comes to like a V. I think would work with something with like a high neck. I would wear this whole outfit right here. I especially like the way that this looks with this dress. This is, I unexpectedly, I, I didn't realize it had a snag in it. Is that super noticeable? I'll have to like do something about that. Yeah, this is nice. I love the pattern on this. It's navy blue and ivory, if you can't tell. I feel a little lumpy in it, okay? <laughs> Not cute. So I got this gold bangle. Of course I want more. Of course I want to stack. I want tons. I want to just go up the whole arm. And this wood one I thought would be really good to just, I love the idea of mixing materials. 
And then we have this hammered gold bangle as well. I got something lime green. I wanted like these neon colors to wear under these autumnal colors. I wanted to mix like tan with neon green and orange. I just, I thought that would be cool. Maybe like a black lacy bra underneath would be super cool or just something bandeau so it, you just see my tattoos and that's it. This is actually a bodysuit. I just have the shorts on still so I could show you but this is a bodysuit. And I even like it with the bangles and because it's kind of a higher neck, I wonder if this would look cute with one of the necklaces so let's give it a try. I'm thinking the green one. This looks really good with it. So I feel like because this shirt is so bright, it's starting to pull some of the color out so you can see it more. I just really like that. So I do like the look of this necklace with this. I think it's neat. And that is actually everything I got. So it wasn't too bad. I got some deals and uh, so I didn't spend a whole bunch of money. Good morning, welcome back. We are going to do some makeup this morning and it's gonna be the look that I'm going to do for this little photo shoot today. So I thought I would share. I'm gonna do it kind of fast. So quick explanations, not a full blown tutorial to save time. Today's foundation is gonna be the Wet n Wild. I can't believe how much I do like this foundation. I mean, it's not just because it's Wet n Wild, it sucks or anything like that, but you know, you just kind of get a little surprised when something is affordable. You're like, it's too good to be true if it's affordable. You know? So let me get this on real quick, speed up that. All right, and now we're gonna do some concealing. Now this is actually regular shape tape. I forgot I even had this. I'm going to set everything with some of the Tarte Pressed Translucent. That is absolutely beautiful. This would be so easy to do if you just wanted a really simple smoky eye and you're not the type to usually do something really heavy. You can just do a really beautiful gray smoky eyeshadow all around the eye and then just do a little liner and some lashes and call it good. So simple and uh, I think it looks really beautiful. It just kind of, you know, makes the eyes look more sultry. I keep losing my voice. It's very difficult for me to talk. This is gonna make filming today kind of a son of a bitch. This is the first little number that I'm going to wear. I cannot go any further down because I'm not wearing a bra with this. This is actually a really beautiful lace, very tight fitted, very see-through, black body hugging dress. And it goes all the way down to the floor. I got this actually, I think in the Goodwill bins while thrifting. So I wanna get a really cool photo of that. And this is what the photo looks like. And then we're gonna move on to the next outfit change the background. I want a different background with each one. So it's more exciting to scroll through it. And this will look cool, I think, with a fuzzy sweater. So like a ivory colored fuzzy sweater, which I don't think I have. So here's the photo for this one. Might be a couple, not really sure. I haven't seen them. <laughs> now that is a retro background. Accessorizing. I found my Alexis Bitar cuff that I was talking about. So this is the one that I got when I was shopping on the Real Real. And, <clears throat> oh God, I do not think you guys will be able to see that, will you? Oh gosh. Can you see a little tiny stamp on the inside that says Alexis Guitar? So I thought that would look really cool in my stack. There's an art to the stack. I'm gonna go play with photos. Here's how they came out. Good job, Sienna. All right, well that is everything. I have completed all of the photos that I want for this blog post. 
I got the final one of everything stacked, Fairy Iris. I think just because that's all I have, stacking only what I have probably wouldn't be the way that I'd want to go about it. I'd want to have options so that I can stack them intentionally. This is just kind of because it's all I've got. So I feel like because Iris has such a vast collection, especially if you saw her whole thing at the Met, like it's just mind-blowing how much couture vintage costume jewelry that she has and it's very inspiring i think my favorite part that she was layering in the uh, documentary was this spiky black uh, really cool just unique porcupine almost like necklace and then she put another one over top of it that was more like a circular clunky chunky one and it just made sense as soon as she did it it made sense and I thought I can do that I I think I'm not trying to say that I'm like the genius of like Iris Atfell and her stacking skills but I truly think that if I had a lot of options I would get so excited and have so much fun if I put on a shirt or an outfit or whatever and then just like had all these different big necklaces like these to play with layering as if I needed another thing okay well my my card is full and I just need to end this so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed please go read the blog I'll have it linked below and subscribe if you're not I'll see you guys on the next video whatever it is next week let's get to uh creating something fun oh we're going shopping with my friend so that'll be really fun stay tuned Thank you.